We are packing the boat up. This is the start to stop number four of the Tackle Warehouse Invitationals on Ufala. We won the last one on Kentucky Lake. I hope you enjoyed those tournament episodes. Those were fun. Those were fun. Go check them out if you haven't seen them yet. And welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Super excited. We had a day and a half at home in between the Chickamauga tournament and heading to Ufala. So we've been spending all the time we can with the wife and the babies. And we got our boat plugged in. We're charging up. We got Ned over here. He's doing good. And we're, we're ready. I feel like the fish are gonna be deep down on Ufala. You got ledges, you have gators, you have grass, you have brush piles, shell beds, punching mats, Kissimmee grass, fish a swim jig. You can do about anything you want. Bluegill spawn happening, mayfly hatch happening, and shad spawn happening. Everything's happening. So we have three days. This is only my second time ever to Ufala. And we're gonna be staying at Ethan's mom and dad's house. Ethan's from there, he lives there. And we're gonna have a crew. I'm gonna be staying with Adrian Avina. And then Ethan has Laker and Mitchell and Alex staying at his house. So we got the whole crew. We're heading down. I'm excited. The last time I was there was for a Toyota. The first year I moved to Alabama. I was not as experienced. I weighed 11 pounds a day. I did not fish so hot, but we figured a little something out. So I think we can break down the lake a little quicker, a little easier. I'm excited. We're, we are going to pull up the Bass Forecast app and check it out real quick just to see. We currently had it on Lake Gunnersville. Let's add a new lake down in Eufaula and see what it says. Eufaula, Alabama. There we go. We'll keep the default name. All right, confirm. Pulling it up, we're gonna see what it says on the ratings coming up here. Where'd it go? I lost it. There it is, right at the top. Today, 4.9 out of 10 on the fishing. Well, that's all right, because fishing doesn't start till tomorrow. Practice, look at that, 9.6 out of 10. Epic day, so we're gonna try and not set the hook too much. <laughs> tomorrow and day one of practice and that's that's epic if i was going to choose a day to go fishing it would not be this coming saturday sunday monday that's terrible it would be today tomorrow thursday you have good ratings check that out so it's based on the spot on salooner times it tells you the feeding windows there the best times throughout the day for the bite it tells me a topwater frog a carolina rig a di medium diving crankbait or deep one on the ledges swim bait plastic worm or creature bait and it tells you how to fish those based on the weather and the recommendations it says a fast presentation speed is best top structures you have docks and marinas all right Ooh, what's this one humps i like it main lake points all right and does that say ledges flats flats on main lake so that's awesome, stable barometer. Y'all check the Bass Forecast app, linked in the description below. We're gonna roll out, appreciate y'all. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't. Let's head south, four hours till you fall. We'll see you when we get there.
just pulling in. We made it to the Greens residence. Heath and Amy, Ethan's parents, and this place is sweet. They got a garage. They let me back the boat halfway in the garage. Appreciate that, Heath. You got no your problem. boat in there on the other side? I got it. That's what I'm talking about. I beat Adrian <laughs> Avina yeah, to the, the garage. Heck, I, I took a detour and I roll up and you just got it. It's because you but, stopped man, to get that Chick-fil-A. Look, look what you got, man. Oh, yeah, boy. I hope that Chick-fil-A hit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I was really happy to see this guy win. If you haven't seen that video, slide over here. Thank you, bro. That was unbelievable, dude. Thank you. Yeah, it, it was just incredible, man. Yeah. Blessed week. I appreciate it. Freaking giants in all the mouth. It was nuts. Sick. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was a little jealous. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, it was awesome. Y'all go check the Kentucky Lake episodes out. But we're here. We're here. Where you follow? You ready? Got yeah, half the field here, man. Yeah. Half the field. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a little hot. We'll yeah. Right. Yeah. We'll go we'll get them. Yeah. We'll get them. We'll get a little sunburnt. We're about to go eat. We oh half the field here is man you mean all these boats. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, we got a lot of boats here. Pretty much half the field. We got my man EG. We just wrapped it up at Chick. Alex Mitchell. Good morning, boys. Good morning. What up? Mm. Get over here. We're going to catch them this week. Boy. You're coming off of a top 10. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're coming That's off a top 20 about. and a win. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Heck yeah. So what's this place we're going to eat? We're going to the rodeo. The rodeo. What's the rodeo? Rodeo, rodeo Mexican restaurant. Rodeo. Oh, it's Mexican. Yeah, it's but be good. You said there's actually. Is there actually? <laughs> there, no, there's not. Okay. He, so, he got me. So he said there, they're thought, roping cattle. I told him we were going to the rodeo. And he, he thought there was bulls and stuff there while you ate. I said, is this like the name of a restaurant or is, are we going to a rodeo tonight? And he said, we're going to a rodeo. Yeah. <laughs> so he thought we were going to ride bulls, but it's just you a good Mexican me. restaurant. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. He couldn't keep it going when I brought the camera out. Man, he got me. I thought we were legit going to a rodeo like <laughs> Oh my god. We convinced him that it was an actual rodeo yeah. at this place. It's a yeah. strip mall Mexican restaurant. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Well, I guess I'm not going to bring the camera to this one. I was going to show you guys this rodeo, but He's scratch bring that. The camera. All right. We're going to go get us some food. Hey, Amy. Hey, how are you? Good. All right. We're going to go eat. We're going to rig up, and we will see you bright and early. They want to practice here on you follow let's go all right we are just getting out of here this morning got out of here about 10 minutes ago just threw some sunscreen on it is about to be getting light and we're just grafting around we're gonna do a lot of looking today practice is not about catching it's about looking and that's what we're doing so hopefully all this looking we will find some stuff that's loaded because this lake has the most wood under the surface than any lake I've ever been on. Standing timber, stumps, laydowns, under the surface, and brush piles from one end of the lake to the other, just everywhere, everywhere. So it's really hard to dial it in. We're gonna try and dial it in and fish some of it too. But mainly just looking for a while this morning. It might be, it might be mid morning by the time I stand up and cast. I don't even know. So we will see you guys here in a bit, but it's beautiful out. Let's get them. All right, it's been a couple hours. Just been graphing around here. There we go. Let's mark some brush here. I'm gonna go drop a lure on it, see if it's any good. I don't know. Beautiful day out so far. We still got our baits rigged up from Chickamauga. A little shaky head. Ooh, and he's retied pretty bad. <laughs> It'll be all right. We're just practicing.
There's one. I don't know what I have. That's a bass. It is a bass. Oh my gosh. We just found us a giant, a group of good ones. Wow. Wow. Three pounder. That'll work. Heck yeah. We got a boat coming. We're just going to get out of here. Oh my gosh. Wow. The Miki fishing. Three pounders. Really? That is cool. That is really cool. Group of three pounders. He was hungry on that to Mickey. That's awesome. I expected those to be trash fish. Like catfish or carp or something else. Nope. That is a great start to practice. If all these fish we just grafted over are bass, we found a great spot. I might have to set the hook one more time because there's so many here. And nothing followed it out of that group. I don't know if they're, they're bass or not. There's one. Straight out of this brush pile. I don't know what it is. A crappie? <laughs> A crappie. Well, cool. I don't know if, uh, I think we're gonna cook some fish, so might as well throw it in the well. There's another one. It's out here roaming. What is it? A little spotted bass. They're busting right in here. Yeah, we found a group of bass. Chase some bait out here. That's cool. They are flying. Flying around here chasing bait. Oh my gosh, they're blowing up behind us. That's so cool. Wow, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Well, hopefully they stay here a few days. We caught a big largie out of them. We caught two spotted bass out of them. Heck yeah. That's awesome. They look good. Look like some big ones should be here. Whew, just got smoked. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. Wow, that's a big one. Just kidding. He fought real hard compared to the last couple. Spot, 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 spot. I think he's been caught a few times. It's a dirt. He said, I've been eating shit. I've been eating shit out there. I'd like to see one more good one, but I don't have to. There's a lot of bass in here, Roman. Wow. I think we're gonna come here tournament morning with a top water and a delinky and a crank and go to work. Go to work on them. Here we go, rolling up to a little brush pile. Mm -hmm. Worthy is the lamb. Worthy is the land. Throwing those guys back.
First gator of the trip swimming right over there. I don't know if you can see it. Way out there, about a six footer. There we go. Giant. A giant on a shallow hump with a purple worm. <laughs> that was a massive fish right there. Wow. There's one. Yep. Oh, little guy, he got off. And leave this little hunk. It's hard to tell. Almost what's a bass here because there's a lot of trash in this. Yeah, I don't know. I feel you there. I've seen a lot of big marks, but I don't know if they're bass or what they are. Alright folks, we've been grapping around a lot. We caught a few little ones. We caught one three and a half. Nice one. But we're just looking. We're just looking for structures, looking for fish, brush, stumps, anything that might hold them. So we're going to be mostly doing this today. We'll break the camera out when we start casting. Nice little guy. Boom. Chick. We're just gonna leave. I think there's gonna be some bigger ones here. There'll be some bigger ones here. Nope. Oh yeah, boy. What up, EG? Dragging that old Texas rig. Just one of your little guiding holes. See, EG gets to live on this leg. And I just got to find all his stuff now. Yeah. I've already found two of them. <laughs> I'm on a roll, two for two. I lost my worm. Now I'm gonna throw the shake in there because I lost my worm. That's a nice one there, folks. Woo! That's the first one I've caught out of the brush, so it, that gives me a lot of confidence to find more brush the next two days. That's the only one I've set the hook on. I've shook a couple off. Didn't know how big they were. They're like that. It's gonna be good. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Just getting back to the house, downloading some footage from the chest camera and the third person camera. Check the buck out. That's Amy's buck. 
You shot that one, right? I did. Yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one right there. Hey, oh. <laughs> you let Amy shoot the big one? Oh, yeah, yeah. She shot the big one. That's the truth. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not patient enough to get the big one. <laughs> right? You just pull the trigger. That's on. right. He walked Yeah, first one walks out. Get some jerky. <laughs> Heck yeah. Appreciate you letting us stay. That ain't no problem. Yeah, this is Ethan's dad. He. You've probably seen him in a video before. I imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he cooked us some burgers tonight. We just had a good meal. Some brownies. Woo! And we're plan playing ten boat shuffle out here because half the guys are staying at Ethan's house and they're trying to shuffle all the boats around so we can park because everybody came over for dinner. So that's what's going on right now making my bedtime a little later but that's okay we're sticking some water bottles in the freezer and we can keep our cooler cold all day long and by the end of the day they're thawed out drink some water and it's still cold but had a good day out there found some fish offshore on ledges found some fish in brush caught that one big one out of brush we should have shook i tried to shake it I, you didn't see that but for about 30 seconds i tried to shake it off and it it just kept holding it. It didn't feel as big as it was, and I set the hook, and I said, oh, no, <laughs> big one. But that keys us in. We can look for brush with confidence now, and it makes me want to look for more. So I might find more brush now that I caught a good one out of it. Good day, fun day, long day. We burnt 42 gallons of gas. We idled like 11 or 12 out of the 14 hours today, so a lot of gas. It's expensive. But hopefully we found the big ones. Excited to see what day two comes next. What happens. So stay tuned for that video coming out next. God bless you. Catch you on the next video here at Fishing with Norby.